please welcome the lovely Tandy Newton. Ready. Okay, shoe cam, please. We have those, music. Those are beautiful. There's no place like home. Yes, yes. There's no place like home. Although I don't want to, I want to be right here Thank right now. You. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I love your accent. Do you? Uh, yes. Can, and can you do an English accent? No. I love your accent. Jersey. It's great. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. <laughs> it's so attitudinal. So <laughs> that's us in Jersey. Um, listen to me. Yeah, I'm listening. Are you? Um, I mean, not listen, but are you, you? Are you naturally thin? Because you have. Congratulations on your newest baby. Yeah. Look at that Thank baby. You, it's cute. Bobby's. How old He's is he? So sweet. He's 11 months. Just 11 months 11 and you months snap old. back like this? Yeah. And you have a 14 year old? A 14 year old girl. And, and how old is the one in between the baby and? 10. 10. Yeah. See, uh, I'm. Uh, you have a 14 year old. Yes, we, yeah. Yeah. It's trouble. <laughs> the, the thing is, is that um, I don't see a lot about you. In, you know, we do hot topics here and we tend to be a little bit nosy about celebrity culture. I haven't that's been not, on hot topics. Not, oh. no, you know, I don't know anything about you other than that you're an actress. So that if, if that's what you want to put out there, you're doing a very good job about keeping your business to yourself. Oh, thank you. Tandy, I didn't know that you were a mother. Really? I didn't even know that you were pregnant. Really? I didn't know that you're married. Are you married? I'm married, yeah. How long has this been going on? <laughs> 18 years. <laughs> oh, God. And you can see why. Hey. Yeah. He's cute. He is. is he English as well? He is. What does he do for a living? He's a writer and director. Uh-huh. Yeah. So now, <laughs> back to, well, it's nice when you work in the same business. He understands exactly where you are and why you have to be here. Yeah, although we haven't, he hasn't written many things for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> Um, so back to the baby thing. I find this fascinating. Mm. You have, you've had all three of your babies at home. Yeah. And this last little booker right yeah, there, booker. you had him on the bathroom floor? Yes, I did. Well, I picture a marble <laughs> bathroom floor on account of, <laughs> like, hey, my, it, it was, it, it's a stone floor, but I had it carpeted just for the birth. Okay, okay. Just like, you know, a carpet that could be down and then pulled up again. Th that's still not, a, oh, like, okay. <laughs> so what, what's this all about? <laughs> Home birth. Yes. Yeah, well, I, 14 years ago, I was having my first child, and I'd never been to hospital overnight, and I just felt like I don't want to be in a strange environment, and oh. I, the idea of being in hospital didn't make me feel too, you know, secure. So I found out that you could have a midwife at home. I thought, well, that's great. Wait, but I was reading... Uh, to prepare for you, was, was your mother a midwife? My mum, yeah, she was a midwife for years and years. So I guess I had that in my childhood and I felt very relaxed with the idea of it. And midwives are the experts of birth, not yes. doctors. Yes, yes. Um, did, you, did you take an epidural? Nope. You're an amazing woman. I'm not, I'm yes, not, I'm not. Yes, no, you're amazing. You're normal. No, that no, that is not that is not normal. It Candy. is normal, it's, honestly. It's virtually no, you're bordering right. on being Wonder Woman. You are. <laughs> it's not normal, I guess, because most people don't do it that way. But you know, that's how births used to be not yes. that long ago. Every woman I had know. their birth at home. I'm glad I didn't live back in those times. <laughs> okay, so during during Hot Topics, we yep. were talking about um, Tom Cruise. Yes. Gaining 150 pounds. I didn't know that until today. Yeah, he, no, he he, he hasn't. Well, that's why. That's a big deal. That's a, that is a big deal. It is a big deal. As an actress, mm. it's would, a you gain big deal. would you gain Would you gain one hundred and fifty pounds? Well, um, I'd find that really hard, actually. You know, just how do you do that? How do you do it so that you can milkshakes really and full fat cheese? <laughs> okay, but you know, you have got to think about afterwards, and you have got to think about your heart and cholesterol and all that stuff. I mean, I've worked with actors who have very successfully used prosthetics to chunk up yes. so I mean and they do it so brilliantly now mm -hmm. prosthetics are amazing so I don't know if he needs to Tom but he, he <laughs> wants he wants that Oscar say. well maybe he could use prosthetics and say that he had eaten a lot of milkshake and cheese I don't know I, listen. is that naughty um so so you grew up biracial 
I did. There was nothing I could do about that. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I but I heard that you were you biracial, you went to a Catholic school, and the kids really gave you the business. And the teachers. You're the teachers. The teachers gave you the business too? Yeah, you know what? They just had never uh, had a person of color in their school. And when my mum arrived at the school, the teacher who thought she was, you know, being very welcoming said, we're all very excited. We've never had one before. <laughs> Are you serious? It's a, it's a long time ago, you know. But I mean, I have compassion for those people. Never for had people. one before. It's a, it's a bad choice of words, yes. isn't it? Is your, is your mom black or is your dad black? My mom is African, yeah. She's African. Mm. Well, black African. Black, yeah. You're right. White African. Yes. Every African. <laughs> Let's face it. <laughs> so listen, so let's talk about the, the series, Slap. Mm. Let me get this straight. All right, so you, you guys... Juicy. Okay. Is it something that's going to live forever on TV or is it just these eight episodes and it's then it's just done? The eight. Eight. It's, it's just the like eight. So it's like a mini-series. It is, and I guess that's why, you know, we could get this incredible cast together. Yes. Because, you know, everyone can then go on and do other things. Yeah, it's Uma hard Thurman. To, yeah, Uma Thurman and Peter Sarsgaard, fabulous. Yes. Melissa George there, Zachary Quinto, Brian Cox. I mean, it's fab. So explain what it, what this is about, what, you know, okay. what it's about. So in the, it, it's based on a book. It was a huge sensation when it came out in Australia, and they actually made a, a, a series out of, out of the book in Australia. That played over there. Uh -huh. That played over there. Um, and so we're transplanting it to Brooklyn. So the first episode is I mean, my husband and I, Peter Sarsgaard and I, host a barbecue in the back garden with friends and family, okay. very intimate and casual. Okay. And my best friend's son, who is four years old, uh -huh. he's kind of playing up, but look the way kids do, he's four years old. And my husband's cousin, big man, Zachary Quinto, slaps this kid around the face hard. And that's the first episode. And it's how, in the subsequent, you know, seven episodes, how it affects all of us. Family, friends, how it affects the way we feel about ourselves. We, they, we go to court for this and... You know, it's... It, keep yeah. your hands off other people's kids. Yeah, and it's a hot... I mean, or, talk about hot topic. Yeah. Ooh, it yeah. is. And everyone has an opinion. Just through the trailer. Friends of mine come around, I go, oh, look at the trailer of my new show, I'm so excited. Yes. And they all have an opinion about the kid and... And really, really firm opinions. Yeah, I've got an opinion too. We'll elaborate oh, tomorrow on. for the hot talk panel. I love meeting you. I love meeting you. You're a great talker. Oh. Candy Newton, everybody. The Slap premieres next Thursday night at 8 o'clock on NBC.